Oh, mama. We got COVID. Both me and Randy got COVID. Luckily, it was very, very, very mild symptoms. So I still have a little bit something going on. So if you can hear a little congestion in my voice, that's what it is. But I'm feeling pretty good right now. And yes, I am having a beer. And no, I'm not sorry about it. So if you're a person who is a minimal makeup lover, if you love a no makeup makeup look, this video is for you. I've been meaning to do a video for so long now about this brand and this brand is Salt New York. I was lucky enough to finally meet up with Kiki. So Kiki is the creator of Salt New York. She is an amazing human being. She's rad as hell. Her background is as a makeup artist in TV and film. So she really knows what she's talking about. And guys, I have been wearing Salt New York for so long now. I love their cream blushes and I just got my hands on their new Sneaky Balm, which is their only base product they have. I can't wait to show you how these products apply. This is going to be a very simple video because that's the whole point of the video. This is about a very simple, gorgeous makeup look and I'm gonna be using their Sneaky Balm. I'm gonna be using their bronzer, uh, their cream blushes, which also double as a lip tint and their highlighter. So I just exfoliated my face. I want these products to go on as smoothly as they possibly can. I have a little bit of irritation just like right around my mouth area, but don't you worry, we'll take care of that. I also want to say thank you to Kiki of Salt New York because she has given me all of my Salt products and one of the most amazing things about Salt New York is not only the products, but these gorgeous palettes that she's created. If this isn't the most uh, aesthetically pleasing Z palette I've ever seen, I don't know what is. And I also wanted to show you the cream blushes that we're going to be working with today. They released two brand new shades. I'm obsessed with them. I've been wearing them nonstop. And they are the shades Sunburnt and horny. Also wanted to let you guys know that I just freshly updated my pro-choice brand list and that can always be found on Instagram. So definitely follow me on Instagram. I'm Kate the Great Beauty and there's always going to be a pinned permanent post. It's also going to be in my uh, story highlights. You can also find more information on how I created that list, my standards for creating that list uh, under my story highlights as well. So these three shades right here are three different shades of the Sneaky Balm. I am the middle shade. I am N12. So that is the shade I'm going to be using. So some details on the Sneaky Balm. This is a luminous finish. It is handmade with love in New York City. We love that. Formulated by a makeup artist. 35% pigment concentrate that gives light tinted coverage using minimal product. This is what the product swatch looks like on my wrist. I like to apply this with a foundation brush. So this is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, and I found that this is so fantastic. This is a great dupe for my Beauty Pie brush that was literally the same. And this is actually a pretty perfect shade match for me. Now, the great thing about Salt New York products is that you can mix them. And there are even like color correctors. They have those as well. So if something isn't absolutely perfect, you can grab one of those. There are just so many options with salt. It's just, it's brilliant. And I want to share this with you. I actually had a subscriber uh, tell me this and I couldn't agree more. She told me that she thinks the Sneaky Balm is the perfect base to wear in warm weather. And I know that sounds a little counterintuitive with how dewy it is, but I actually completely agree. The reason being, when you wear something that's heavier than this, let's say a medium coverage foundation, you know, and you powder it, a full face of makeup, you go out, you sweat in it, yada shmada bada, it doesn't always wear well, it doesn't always sweat off evenly. And there you are with like your beautiful makeup and then it's kind of coming off in patches in weird places. It's just, it's not pretty, you can tell. That's not the case with this. This is literally gonna look like your skin and what if and when you do sweat it off, it's going to look natural. You're not even going to notice, which is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I love this. And you can see how that just really beautifully and subtly covered up that irritation around my mouth that I was having. It's a your skin but better, kind of giving your skin a hydrated polish. And I just went ahead and put some of my Glossier Stretch Concealer underneath my eyes as well as just like around my nose. Okay, so this is what the Sneaky Balm looks like after I just applied it. Obviously, I don't have any powder or anything like that on, but look at 
how beautiful this looks. It almost looks like glass skin. All right, so now we're gonna do bronzer. This is the bronzer shade I have. This is the shade medium. It's probably a little bit too deep for me. So I'm gonna take this lighter contour shade and mix them together and hopefully that'll, that'll work out better. So I mix the two on my hand and I'm just gonna go in with a sponge and apply it that way. And what I will tell you is these products play incredibly well with anything. Like, honestly, you could use the cream blushes under powder. You can use them over powder. I'll show you both. I know cream products kind of freak people out sometimes. You're like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. Help me. I swear they're so easy to use. They basically like blend themselves. They're just that good. Wow. Just... So beautiful. Honestly, I probably would have been just fine using the medium. If you use a light hand and you have light skin, you'd probably be just fine if it's summertime. Okay, take it in, 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 what? Honest to God, like I'm filled with rage. Next, we're gonna move on to cream blush, baby. Okay, so like I said, I have our two newest cream blush shades, which are sunburnt and horny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you both shades swatch on my wrist. I'm going to do sunburnt first and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of horny. And I want you to see how incredibly creamy and emollient these cream blushes are. So this is sort of like a combination between a beautiful bronzy shade with a little bit of pink, right? Sunburnt. And this is what sunburnt looks like swatched on my wrist. This is horny. Woo! This is like a fresh, you know, I just rolled in the hay sort of situation sort of vibe. So first I'm gonna go in with sunburnt and I'm just going to dab like so on up to my temple. And I'm gonna take my Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum brush. This is the 04 brush. This is such a fantastic brush. It's a duo fiber. So it's a great brush for any type of cream product, specifically cream blushes, bronzers, anything like that. I mean, what, are you kidding me with this? Get out of town. No, when you think you've gotten out of town enough, you haven't, leave town. I want you to get the hell out of town. I'm taking it like across the nose, just a little teeny bit. Is that not just absolutely gorgeous? It looks like a beautiful sunburn. Like sunburnt, but make it fashion. You know, now I'm gonna take just a tiny bit. Cause you can see this is very pigmented. It is pigmented yet sheer, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna put it right on the apples of my cheeks. Wow. Wow, 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 Okay, okay. Okay, I'm really trying to take more time to show you like the whole thing what it looks like after each step. Is that not enragingly gorgeous? Okay, so I threw on some mascara. Now I'm going to powder this for you guys and show you what that looks like. So I'm taking my Say Air Set powder and my e.l.f. Kabuki brush, and I'm going to go in with a very light hand. This powder is so incredibly gorgeous and light, so it's, it's really not hard to go in with a light hand. So now I'm going to move on to lips. So these are not only cheek products, they're lip products as well. I think I'm gonna actually go in with the shade Rose and see what that looks like. Okay, that's really nice. It's really nice and nude, but I do want a little bit more pigment. So I'm gonna go into Horny. And if you wanna give yourself the perfect, like diffused popsicle lip, look no further. Beautiful, right? Just so beautiful and I cannot, possibly put into words how well these products blend out with the warmth of your own skin. I mean, it is truly magical. And I am just gonna top that off with a gloss. This is my Tower 28 in the shade Coconut. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with a little bit of blush, not much, because I think we're pretty, pretty good, but I never have too much. I mean, you can, no, you can't. You can't have too much blush. So I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit more of Sunburnt Mm. I love blush draping with this. 
Mm, gorgeous. And last but certainly not least, I am going to go in with a highlighter. Now this has a gorgeous dewy look on its own. Is highlighter necessary? No, it's not. Am I going to do it? Yes. I am. I don't know why I'm speaking in a British accent today, but it just is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with highlighter and I'm going to be using the shade Pearl and the shade Beige. It's like butter. Like what? I... So that is the highlighter. Is that not absolutely breathtaking? Okay guys, so that is my full face of Salt New York makeup. I think this is one of the most incredible uh, no makeup makeup brands I have ever tried. Okay, so here's the deal. This is very important because I'm gonna tell you how to save the most money you possibly can if you make a purchase at Salt New York. You go to the build a palette section of the website. You build whatever palette you want. They also have smaller palettes as well. Right off the bat, if you do that, if you build a palette, you're going to get 20 to 30% off already. And then you can actually add my code, which is Kate the Great 10, and that is going to get you 10% off on top of what you already saved, which is bananas. Please go check out Salt New York. I think this is a brand that so many more people need to be talking about. I really don't understand why they're not. All the Salt New York products I talked about today will of course be linked down below in my description box. Those are affiliate links. And if you shop through my links, that just means that I get a small commission and that goes toward supporting my channel. So thank you in advance. But like maybe just a little bit more cream blush though. What? Just a little more, not much. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in with Rose because I'm a crazy bitch. I'm like, that's gorgeous too. Uh, all right, okay, all right, I must be stopped. I'm gonna pull myself away from the cream blush. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I do apologize for it taking so long for me to get content back up. So thank you for being patient. As always, you guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye.